hello friends welcome once again in my youtube channel today we are going to see another demo on snowflake admin series that is how to restore an account from an organization in snowflake so if you have not seen my recent blog on snowflake admin series organization 2.0 i would recommend you to please have a look because i have captured more detail over here so let's start with the demo and before we start with the demo i just like to remind you that to restore an account or to drop an account or to rename an account uh, these are some of the capabilities which was not available to the end customer earlier but now snowflake has uh, enhanced or empowered the end customer by uh, extending this uh, feature towards the customer end so earlier if you remember or if you are part of your platform team or organization dba team or anybody who deal with the org admin role uh, they are they might be aware that if you want to deal with any of this activity you have to reach out to snowflake via snowflake support ticket and once you raise the support ticket the support guy will uh, do this activity either rename of the account or drop of the account or the uh, or restore of the account so to today the focus of this demo is to how to restore and if you want to see how to drop i will provide you the link of my uh, another demo in the description box and if you want to see how to rename i will provide the link of that as well so let's start with this demo uh, before uh, restore before we see with the how to restore the account uh, you need to understand couple of uh, dynamics here like when you drop an account you provide a grace period and that grace period ranges from 3 to 90 days 3 is the minimum 90 is the maximum and between this range including both minimum and maximum you can provide the grace period what do you mean by the grace period grace period is the uh, period till that time snowflake will do the soft delete what do you mean by the soft delete and hard delete is basically soft delete means like you will not able to use the account but your account will still be kept on the background for that duration of grace period by that time you if you change your mind and if you want to restore the account you can do that very well on your own but once the grace period is gone you will not able to recover your account mm -hmm. right but the other side or the flip side of this is like the more you provide the grace period the more you will still um, active or i would say like still uh, eligible to pay the bill for all the storage and everything whatever is there on the account so if you are still holding some storage on the account you will still end up with uh, paying on the storage because you are not able to access so obviously you will not pay for the compute charge but if you have the data in the account I, in any form in the storage you will end up paying the bill till the time you have the grace period so choose wisely whether you want to restore or not if you don't want to restore it's clear put it three days but if you think like okay your organization may change uh, the mind or if you for any other business reason you want to keep it on hold till the time there is a clarity you can put something uh, very mindful that you don't end up paying more charges as well as your uh, requirement is also fulfilled so let's without uh, wasting any time I would just like to show you one more thing is like you you can do the show organization account but you will not see anything which is already dropped or deleted so if i do this you will not see another account you can see only i have one account in my organization which i am already logged in so if you want to see the history of what all account has been deleted you have to use the history keyword at the end and if i use this you will see that i have an account called secondary which i already dropped in my previous demo and if you go on the right hand side you will see the drop down and drop down is the actual date from when it was shop deleted and there is another column called deletion by something called scheduled deletion time which means like i have provided three days of uh, grace period and it says like i dropped the account on 16th but it will be hard deleted on 19th that's three days so by within that time if i want to restore i can restore if i will not restore in this days pass so af after this date on 19th 1050 it i will not able to uh, like after this time i will not uh, able to restore even if i wanted to neither the snowflake uh, support thing 
so how to restore is like uh, because you can see I am well within that grace period I can just go and do the undrop account secondary so if I do this it will restore my account and if I don't use the history keyword now I am able to list my organization so now you can see the account has been listed if I go on you can see that is the restore account column will be updated with the current date let me go back where is that column oh okay account account okay i don't see that column maybe it is restored and that's why it's removed but yeah the whole idea is like uh, once you undrop you will see that the account will start uh, listing down as part of so organization account you don't have to use a strict event but if it's already dropped and fall within grace period you will see that within the using history keyword as well so that's all for today's demo and i hope you find this demo uh, interesting and uh, you will try at your end and let me know how you feel empowered today and if you like this demo please like and subscribe to my channel thank you